babe wanted some meatballs so let's get it first we're going to start by chopping some onions some peppers and some garlic using this good old ninja now after we chop these veggies we are then going to add some ground beef as well as some ground chicken to a bowl now i know it's going to be somebody that's going to try me in these comments and be like oh my god she's nasty she don't have any gloves on girl shut up shut up our mamas didn't wear gloves when they cooked all the time why we got to y'all just bougie now acting like y'all wasn't out here eating y'all mama's gloveless meals back in the day we're gonna wash our hands before during and after and keep going with dinner okay then we're gonna add that onion and pepper mix to our ground beef and chicken then we're going to season it. I'm going to use some garlic, onion, paprika, as well as some herb parmesan by Telehomemade. Link is in the bio. Go ahead, order you some. We ship to all 50 states. Now, after we season our mixture, I'm then going to add some breadcrumbs. You can add a little. Your girl go add a lot. Now, once I add the breadcrumbs, then I'm going to add not one, but two large eggs eggs are going to help bind your meatballs together now once i mixed all of this stuff together i'm then going to throw these hands into this bowl do not be afraid to touch this meat if y'all could be out here touching that other meat y'all could touch this meat so we're going to put our hands in it and we're going to mix it up real good real good real good and then after you mix it you're going to take pieces of the meat out Using the palms of your hands, you're going to shape them into balls. So you're going to take the meat, shape it, put it to the side. Meat, shape it, put it to the side. Now, after all of your meatballs are made, I like to put my meatballs in your refrigerator or in your freezer so that they can set. So while the meatballs are in the fridge setting, I'm going to go ahead and start my pasta sauce. So, I'm going to add some garlic herb butter by Telehomemade to my pan. Then I'm going to add some garlic. And I'm going to throw in some tomato paste. Now, after I add my tomato paste, I'm going to add tomato sauce. Not prego, not ragu. None of that crap with preservatives, tomato sauce, and then we're going to add some basil and we're going to season it up a little bit. And then we are going to add a pinch of sugar, just a pinch. It should not taste like dessert. Okay. Now here's our meatballs. We're going to fry them up, brown them on all sides, put them in a pan. Then we're going to top them with cheese, then top it with pasta sauce, then add more cheese. And then we're going to pop it in the oven at 350 for about 40 minutes. Then you're going to serve it over.